What's going on, guys? John Acapinta here again. Big break, season three. We're meeting the contestants. As always, we're brought to you by Linderella's Deli up in Sawyersville. Get there. Uh, Encore Studios up the Einen. And of course, NEPA scene brought to you by Rich Howells. We are here today with the Jids from Pittsburgh, guys. What's going on? Nothing much. Hey. Not much. much. So, you guys recently just changed your name as well, right? It was supposed to be Fun Bucket, was it? Yeah, yeah. There was it, a... origi- it originally was Fun Bucket, but we decided to change it to the Jids as it is. Uh, a mixture of all of our last names, uh, J, I, and D, but we decided that kind of is just not catchy enough, so we decided for the Jids. Yeah, I like that. Why? Why not Fun Bucket? Was just too too. I think the music we play is a little bit. Uh, our, our, it's a bit technically heavy, I would say, uh, <laughs> and to to have the name Fun Bucket is like kind of misleading i feel like but yeah it might be yeah yeah i like your style though i I was just watching a clip uh from your first gig i guess right you guys just did your first gig like a month ago Mm -hmm. right first paid gig nice uh so you're like per like math rock alternative kind of yeah that's what we're headed for more progressive style progressive yeah cool so uh you're not the first band from Pittsburgh, actually. There was Prime Eight. Do you guys know about them? No, I, I've heard of Prime Eight actually, but um, yeah, I haven't. I haven't gotten a chance to play with them yet. I think I saw them a couple places, but yeah, no, they've been around. Yeah, they actually were finalists. They uh, they drove from Pittsburgh twice, I think, to play. Uh, do you guys are you guys prepared for that type of travel? How have you been getting around with shows? so far uh, typically typically we drive well we did a show in kent state about what was that show a week ago oh uh, yeah ago now yes yeah, so we went up to, to we went up to kent uh drove up to kent an hour or two away so it, it's not horrible we can you know we have we have uh we have we have vehicles that we can we can get around in so <laughs> okay nice and but that's yeah. was that in cleveland kent state is that yeah it's a it's probably a little bit farther than youngstown so okay yeah. cool yeah. So you guys are already like experienced, even though. How long have have you guys been doing this? What's when did this start? Has this been a? Well, yeah. Uh, Sean, yeah, Sean can speak to this, but. So, around two years ago, I contacted Dino in a bit of a uh, feud, where he was in a previous band, and I was looking to join. But instead, we decided that we should form our own band. And after about a uh, a bit of a breakup with a drummer that wasn't really too cut out for what we wanted to play, about six months ago, Patton joined. And then we've been doing this until today. Oh, wow. So relatively, I mean, but you guys have, you have experience then. Uh, separately, yeah. yeah separately. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, it's uh, of course there's some drama involved, right, with every band. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, yeah, we we uh, Sean and I have been we've been playing for a while, and it's it's been kind of cool to get to to get to know at least this specific trio over the last couple of months here. Uh, we're all at a level that we can play what we want to play, and at the same time, uh, these guys are, you know, in terms of our compatibility, like we work with each other. You know what I mean? Like Patton keeps us centered, and me and Sean are a little bit goofy sometimes, but it's a lot of fun. So not nice. only is it you know a a, a good uh, a good match playability wise you know but we 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 all get along so it's what really that's counts. huge that's that's yeah. that's important I think we actually have a clip of uh, you guys from your one show I think there it is.
So that uh, in the quick preface, that was a clip of War Pigs, our cover of the Black Sabbath song, and then a quick snippet of Patton's drum solo that we gave him for our cover of 21st Century Schizoid Man by King Crimson. And as nice. can be seen in the video, uh, Dino is the lead guitarist and the rhythm guitarist, so all-around guitar, and I am bassist. We both share vocals, and Patton is on drums. Yep. Yeah, I was, I was loving the uh, the drum solo, giving the drummer some love. Uh, so yeah, Don, he Dino, definitely you, deserves it. <laughs> yeah, definitely, he's, he's, he's a great, rocking. great drummer. Oh yeah. So you're doing both lead and rhythm. Do you feel like that's yeah. like? Are you looking to have either a, a lead or rhythm guitar guitarist come so, in at any point, or are you liking that as is? Uh, my actually, my style is uh, has kind of evolved to deal with that. Unfortunately, we don't have any clips of it, but a majority of what we play is is, is clean math rock. It's uh, it's stuff that's that's pretty complex. And what I end up doing is I do a lot of hybrid picking. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's I hold my pick like this in one hand or in, in between these two fingers, and then I pick with these separately. Damn. So that way I can fill up a lot of the space that uh, is left by you know not having two guitar players. That's impressive. Thank you. My uh, a few of my friends are in a math rock band. Shot them on. You'll have to check them out. Uh, for sure, for sure. I have up- utmost respect for the math rock game. It's 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 on uh, right, right there. Just the hybrid picking like that. That could not be easy, especially live, like with the jitters and everything. The jid jitters, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's a a lot of the tapping stuff. You know, that's that's what gets to me live because you know you're hitting it's not like you're playing you know just with your left hand anymore it's like you're not used to fretting with your right hand already and then you start you know so you start trying to hit some of the crazy stuff and it's just like yeah no but it's taken work but i I think it i think it is really i think it's what our group needs more than say another guitar player so yeah nice so uh Patton did you guys by the way <laughs> yeah Patton, uh he doesn't have video is 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 Patton it's a little camera shy Pat or is it technical I think or... he's working on it it's a technical oh, okay I wasn't sure yeah um but I mean that he looks good there maybe we could plug in like his face if if anything like a picture <laughs> yeah yeah they have like a goofy picture of him we could plug in um, uh, oh yeah, we definitely do. Hold up, I got this. Uh, <laughs> I just heard him go. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that goofy, Ben. Don't worry, man. I got. Oh, it. Is it the one from the Instagram? Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> he, oh, never our, mind. our it's producers. Pretty, it's pretty goofy. Hold on. He said we can make that happen. So. <laughs> All right, I'm se- I'm sending it to Sean. He can he can get it to you guys. Cool. Yeah, it's not too goofy, but it's, you know. Goofy enough. Yeah. Uh, so have, have you guys taken on the submission video yet? Uh, not quite. We are planning right. to film it very soon, As what, uh, however. Do you guys remember the, the items? It was like a match, a cardboard box in a vase, right? Pretty close, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if the, our producer is going to clip that because you pretty much got it. He was going to put in a, a video of it. Mm. Of uh... Item number one is... A lighter! Cool. Lighter vase and a cardboard box. Yeah. 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 We're Are you going in into you... a, uh, uh, sorry, we're actually going in to do some photography tomorrow. So hopefully we can start working on that and get it done. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That'd be perfect. Do you have, uh, you guys going to get real creative with it or just kind of make it like a, uh, like a background so, thing? I haven't, honestly, I haven't, I haven't talked to Sean about this a whole lot uh, or Patton, but I was speaking with, I know you talked to our manager a little bit. Or, or someone over there did, and we were we were talking about uh, me and one of my buddies. Actually, we've done a little bit of a little bit of coding with machine learning. We've actually been teaching AI how to edit video. So no way. Yeah. So hopefully we can get some of that stuff in. 
get some of that. I need uh, that. I do that. some I do some coding and some videography, so I need that because I have so many videos that like I haven't touched because I'm just like the time yeah. consuming. It's time yeah. consuming. Yeah, I'm gonna well, have to. Yeah. I'll, I'll be in touch with that. That's cool. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, no, but we're we're hoping to uh, we're hoping to get pretty creative with it. I'd say I think Sean would agree with that for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in fact, uh, I we have a few of the items already uh, gotten. I have the I have the lighter right here for the video as well. Nice, yeah. nice. Got it. You can just like you can go to a thrift store for the vase, or go to like a grandma. I'm sure we got something on hand. It's a face. Yeah. I say that now. <laughs> <laughs> you can get creative with it. Yeah. No, it's gonna we'll, we'll make something interesting, I'm sure. We got we got some creative people between the three of us. <laughs> I I could see it. Uh actually this is a creative question. Uh celebrity boxings in the mix. Jake Paul, Logan Paul. My favorite celebrity death match. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It's an old 90s show, 2000s show. Uh, was it Claymation? Yes, yeah. And it would pit two celebrities against each other to the death. If you could do that right now, living or dead, who, who are you putting up against each other? Well, that's, a, that's a great question. Well, I can, uh, talk to, I can speak on Sean's behalf right now. One of them is Roger Waters. One of them's Roger. Williams. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna have a uh, <laughs> in in one of the episodes that I saw of Celebrity Deathmatch, there were the Beatles where all four of them fought each other at once. Yeah, and I do remember. <laughs> I was, I was gonna have a Beatles kind of four way of uh, my two favorite bassists and the two presidents that always come to my mind for some reason, of Greg Lake of ELP and Roger Waters versus Millard Fillmore and zachary taylor wow <laughs> who's coming out on top there you think i think Zach, zachary sure. taylor Zachy. yeah but, Sean knows man <laughs> but there might be some fighting because zachary taylor was a general before he became president but he also is fighting against a six foot four british man that yeah that that's gonna might pose a little little difficulty <laughs> right there do they have their guitars and you know, oh, basis like, if, uh, like they well, have it, it with them. In the Beatles episode, if Paul or John could use the guitar to hit the other members, I think I think they should be able to use whatever yeah, weapons definitely. that they're equipped with. Well, like, what does Millard Fillmore get then? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Secret Service. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Oh man. The pad yeah. lay down one. Did he get? Yeah, Bring it up, man. Who, who, uh, would you, who would you have? Who would you have? I don't actually know a lot of celebrities, so yeah, I don't know. Okay, Come on, you gotta have at least one, man. Just, like, like uh, side, yeah. Hmm. Uh, how about Robert Fripp versus Michael Giles? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you. Who's coming out on top? I don't know. Uh, Robert Fritz really mean, though. So, you know. He might be willing to play dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, uh, probably our last question before we wrap things up. If you could change anything about the music industry, what would it be? Um, I think I would make it less machine oriented because now they have like electronic everything and it's not real musicians. And I just think that loses some creativity in like how you execute the music. Fair. Yeah. How about, how about you too? I would, uh, Dino, I would add, you can uh, go. Yeah, I was actually down in, this is a little bit sidetracked, but I was actually down in South Carolina about a month ago playing with a couple of bluegrass bands down there. And I'm not sure if you, uh, probably not ever heard of him, but he's a great banjo player. His name's Jens Kruger. And I got to talk to him for until like one in the morning. And this guy's been in the industry forever. And he was kind of talking to me about 
like what especially bluegrass so it doesn't there's obviously a lot more jobs in different uh in different genres but he was kind of talking to me about how you know there's like five banjo players that make a living in this world uh like truly make a living just off of their instrument and the, the way that he th described uh the way that things are set up it's all it's all market driven and i guess it has to be if it's an industry right but that being said he was talking to me about and i bring up machine learning again but he was talking about how a lot of country artists will like the uh their, their labels will run their lyrics through uh through machine learning programs and have them maximize the word usage so that uh the, the, the lyrics come out appealing to uh, appealing to the, the audience or the target market that uh, the label wants to cater to. And that kind of thing is... <laughs> that is like, <laughs> like the what, anti hero yeah, of like, music right especially there. Especially with what we do. I mean, like, you know, four, four chord country songs compared to what we're attempting to do are, are obviously a very different machine, but I still think it it takes away from from what we're trying to, you know, from what artists are trying to do. And that's always the balance to be met. But uh, that being said, I would definitely agree with Patton. The more automation, the easier I think it is to cater uh, to markets like that and the less protected the artist is. So I would definitely agree with that. So less less machine oriented, less automation. And I guess my final bit would be to add on top of both of those. Every time I turn on a radio, it uh, it doesn't really sound any different due to that monotony if you will and i feel like there needs to be more of a musical diversity rather than just appealing to a market because the music industry is large enough to at least afford some risks in music taking so having some sort of band that doesn't sound like the norm could bring way for more of a market rather than just to restrict it okay I like all those points, honestly. I had no idea that people were doing that with lyrics. That's kind of like awful. Yeah, I heard it's ninety-five. <laughs> I heard it's. I heard it's ninety-five percent of the top forty in country. Oh so man, that is yeah. just. I mean, a, a ghostwriter alone. That's like the ghostwriter's ghostwriter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, guys, it's been great. I'm loving what I'm I'm seeing already. I'm excited uh, to see your video come come to be, and then hopefully you'll be moving on to the next round, and I'll be seeing you live. Uh, as always, we are brought to you by Linderella's Deli in Sawyersville on Main Street. I just ate one of their wraps in one bite, so ten out of ten. Videos coming soon. Encore Studios up the Inan down it. Take a boat, take a ferry, get there. Any PA scene, Rich Howells. I just made a fool of myself at his open mic. Go do it yourself. It's the best. And we're the big break. You can catch us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Maybe we'll make a MySpace, bring back MySpace. Who knows? We've been, we've been with the Jids. You guys have been great. Check them out. And check out the rest of the Big Break, bigbreakcontest.com. All right, guys, it's been great.